Hey everyone, I'm here in Westport, Connecticut, a town of 27,000 that lies along the state's Gold Coast region. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to get here from Grand Central Terminal. The town is known for being one of the wealthiest in the state, for its beaches, for its good schools. Let's go. Pequot Indians were the first to settle in the area, and by the late 1600s, English farmers started to arrive. During the Revolutionary War, a British force landed on Campo Beach to try to destroy the Continental Army's supply route. Minutemen, who were part of the local militia, launched a surprise offensive from their rear and were able to push them out. In 1835, Westport was officially incorporated as a town and it quickly grew into a prosperous agricultural community to become the leading onion grower in America. Large amounts of farm produce had to be transported from town, which helped turn the waterfront into a major shipping center with mills and factories built to keep up with demand. In the early 1900s, the town began to attract artists and writers such as F. Scott Fitzgerald, who lived here for a bit. Later, New Yorkers started to move here due to the area's artsy reputation and natural beauty. Westport remains a popular destination with a lively waterfront, beautiful beaches, and a highly ranked school system. Westport High School was ranked number one in the state and 279th in the country according to a 2020 U.S. News & World Report. And their two middle schools, Bedford Middle School and Coleytown Middle School, were ranked number three and number seven in the state. The town is one of the wealthiest in the country, with a median house price of over $2.2 million. It's easy to see the area's affluence when traveling along its scenic coastline. Many of the mansions sit on private beaches, and there are plenty of marinas for those that have large yachts. The downtown is full of small boutique shops, and there's a large indoor-outdoor mixed-use development called Bedford Square that's worth visiting. It has retail, restaurants, and residential units. I love the layout. Nice tree in the middle of the courtyard. Some lights strung up. And they have this cool arched alleyway with a restaurant inside. The place is called Amos Trattoria, an Italian restaurant that has a nice outdoor seating area and additional seating inside in a covered alleyway. The inside bar is great too, with a cool industrial look to it. The town continues its legacy as an arts hub, with its hugely popular Westport Country Playhouse, a non-profit theater that seats over 500 people. It was founded in 1931 in a remodeled 1830s tannery. They perform shows, provide educational programming, and support theater workshops. The space can also be rented out for events. Another popular venue is the Levitt Pavilion of Performing Arts. It was founded in 1973 and produces one of the largest and longest running free outdoor festivals in the country. Every summer it hosts dozens of concerts with over 1.5 million guests so far. For those of you who like history, you can visit the Westport Museum for History and Culture. Its exhibits are dedicated to preserving and celebrating the history of Westport. It's located inside the Bradley Wheeler House a home built in 1795. The Longshore Golf Course is their premier golfing destination in Fairfield County. In 2008, the Golf Digest magazine voted one of the best places to play golf and it was ranked number 7 by Northeast Golf Magazine in their 2022 list of the best golf courses in Connecticut. This is Winslow Park. It lies east of the downtown area. They have bike paths, walking trails, picnic areas, and they have a place here for dogs, for you dog lovers. Ah, feels good to get out of the city. It's a hot day though. Whew. I'm gonna try to stay in the shade <laughs> the best I can. One of the main reasons people visit Westport is to see its beautiful coastline. It's full of nice sandy beaches, marinas, yacht clubs, and parks. This is Campo Beach and Park. It's open to the public all year round. 
They have a nice boardwalk, a concession, they have playgrounds, volleyball courts, a skate park, softball fields. Oh, this is why I came here. <laughs> Connecticut has some of the best beaches around. Look at this. The park sits on 29 acres along the Long Island Sound. It takes 10 minutes by bike or a five minute car ride from the train station. The area is free to enter, but there's a fee if you want to park your car from May 1st to September 30th. It's $45 on weekdays and $70 on weekends for parking. And you can also visit Old Mill Beach, a small park that doesn't have a restroom or changing area and has limited parking, but it's less touristy and appears to be a great place for fishing. Town's waterfront is also worth checking out. There are tons of great dining spots along the Saugatuck River. Many of them have really nice outdoor seating areas. Bar Taco is a lively taco restaurant that serves great cocktails in a beachy atmosphere that has a bar and outside patio. Arezzo is a stylish upscale restaurant that serves Italian fare with a nice outdoor space overlooking the bridge. Rive Bistro is a casual French spot that serves classic dishes and is known for its Sunday brunch. They have a nice tree shaded patio along the river. Parker Mansion is an American restaurant with a little back patio and they have seating close to the river as well. And finally there's the Black Duck Cafe a tavern serving seafood that's located inside an old barge that dates back to the 1840s. I needed this. It is a hot day too, I swear it felt like in the 90s today. So I made sure I made it to the beach. It doesn't get much better than this. It's gorgeous. Pristine. It's true, the beaches along Connecticut's Gold Coast, some of the best around. The town is great, really cute. Definitely has a Connecticut, New England-y kind of a look to it. And all along the riverfront, you had tons of outdoor dining and restaurants. I mean, it's worth coming here just to hit up all those places. It's certainly worth coming for the beach. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.